everyone. Good evening. It's uh, 7.58. We have a few minutes here before we begin our restorative practice. Burning some sage here. Good evening, good evening. So if you're joining me from the comfort of your bedroom, your living room, you can infuse the air with your sage, with your cedar wood, with your sweet grass, with your palo santo. If you have essential oils, you can infuse the room, the diffuser, whatever helps you to stay grounded here. Hmm. The most amazing thing about being able to bring these classes online is you get to practice from the comfort of your own home. So no one is watching you, what you look like, what you're wearing, what emotions you're going through. Pretty much this is all for you. And if you do so choose, I mean, this is a very sleepy bedtime vibes type of class. So of course, if the bed is calling for you, it is always there for you after when this practice ends. All right, so let's... Get that magic going in here. All right. Yeah, if you have any essential oil blends, and place that on your palms, on your wrists. Take some deep breaths. And let it out. Just making yourself into this space nice and cozy. All right, it is eight o'clock, so we will get started. So welcome, welcome. This is your 8 p.m. restorative yoga. And you can do this from the practice of your own home. So sorry, Instagram viewers, you're just gonna have to watch sideways here. Um, we're also live on Facebook as well. So if you do miss this or any part of it, you can always find it on my Facebook page and watch the live stream afterwards. Good evening. I will also be posting it on YouTube as well um, with the music, with the Spotify playlist, so you can always follow along at home. So if you are just joining in, the props that you'll need aside from your mat are two hardcover books here, and then you'll need two blankets or towels and two big pillows, maybe three if you like the extra comfort. So let's just Come down onto the ground, come onto your back, and whether you like to extend your legs out to the side in Shavasana, or you can bring the knees together, feet as wide as the mat, supporting the low back, or feet can touch knees apart, maybe bringing the pillows or the blocks underneath your legs. And we'll begin to close the eyes here. Dropping the jaw, softening the lips, shoulders roll down away from your ears. We'll bring our left palm to our heart, right palm to our belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And side out through the mouth. Again, deep breath in through the nose. Sigh. Deep breath in, landing through the mouth, allowing your breaths to be fluid here, keeping that pace as you inhale through the nostrils, and sigh, you can also make any noise, you can unhinge the jaw, you can stick the tongue out and lions roar on your back, <sighs> whatever that you were holding on to from today, from your Monday, your new week, 
work day, if you were working from home, just really allow that to release into the floor. And allow your drishti, your focus to come up towards your third eye, the area between your two brows. Just begin to gently soften here, coming into a deep awakening state. For today's practice, I would like to invite acceptance, allowance, and abundance to flourish within and throughout your body. And notice that this practice isn't for me. It isn't for you either. It's for all of us. We are all so interconnected here during our present condition that Whatever we are feeling, whatever energy and frequencies that we are emanating, others around us, others close to our heart are feeling it just the same, if not more. So let that be a thought that lingers in your head here. How can we attune to creating thoughts, energy, and wisdom that support us from the inside out in order for ourselves to feel compassionate and supportive and connected to each other. This present day condition is not concerned about our daily ignorances. It doesn't take part in our pleasures and in our pains, our joys and in our sorrows, simply asks us to wait. It's an invitation here for all of us collectively to slow down, reflect, and truly look at this human imprint that we've created on our Mother Earth. Whether it is truly nourishing or destroying us from the ground up, really taking notice here. Notice our habitual patterns, of what we tend to think about during the day, positive or negative thoughts. Maybe attuning to our energy, even in the nighttime when we are asleep. Are we allowing ourselves to release and to surrender? Do we keep ourselves worried, wandering too far in the future? and clinging too closely to the recent past. The true invitation here is to stay present. Stay holding yourself upright in order for ourselves to hold space for others and to continue to do this breath by breath by breath. Vibra. We have a global responsibility, all of us here, to contain all of this that is going on. To slow down. Not to mitigate anything or to avoid anything, but simply to confront it like a mirror. Simply to watch it and face it, almost like a predator facing its prey for the first time. Who moves first? What are the next steps? Simply stay directly in this moment. You 
you expand more through the breath, filling up through the lungs, through the heart, through the belly. As you exhale, allowing everything to settle, releasing it back down into the earth. What does not serve you or hold you or lift you upright, release it back down into the ground. Silently whispering to yourself, I am enough. I am doing enough. And for today, for this present moment, that is enough. And I am here. Deep inhale to fill up through the chest, through the collarbones, lightening up through the crown of your head. Inside out, sending it out to the world, someone close to you, your neighbors, your family, your friends. Bring your arms down by your sides, lay your knuckles heavy into the ground and just simply notice all of us here interconnected in our stillness. Begin to slowly move your fingertips and your toes, bringing a gentle twinkle of light. Slow circles of your ankles and your wrists, gentle mobility here perhaps pointing the toes and then flexing them back towards your face. A slight turn of the chin side to side, releasing through your head and neck, heavy in the back of the skull as you ground down. And super slowly and gently, allowing your arms heavy by your sides to sweep up overhead, reaching for the front of your mat, Point the toes, come into a full body stretch as you reach upwards and outwards, emanating your light. Slowly draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around the back of your legs, give yourself a gentle hug, a gentle squeeze, just rock side to side here. Mm, massaging up the gut and the belly, just easing into the gut brain. You can draw a few circles with the knees in one direction. And switch directions, go the opposite way. And we'll slowly bring our pillows over to the left side of the mat. And we'll bring our blankets between the knees here. Just reach your arms out in a T. You can also bend the arms here and slowly drop your knees over to the left, coming onto your pillows. Left hand can come to your right thigh. The, J, the gaze can gently come over to the right thumb. Perhaps closing the eyes here. Softening the brow, softening the lips. Coming into your first side of a reclined twist. Just gently unwinding and releasing from your Monday. Deep breaths to fill up through the belly, feeling that constriction. Exhale, releasing it through the tailbone, lengthening the spine towards your heels. Soften the chest. Allow your legs to get really heavy here so you find full support in your pillows. If it helps, just bring your left hand actually over to the right side of your torso, coming close to the ribs. So giving yourself a gentle rub or a gentle pat, just adding a bit of coaxing here. For many of us, we have not been in physical human contact 
another being in a while. So just know that this gentle coaxing, this releasing, this patting, knowing that you are okay. There is nowhere else that you need to go. There is no other place to be. Simply stay in this moment, moving breath by breath. Draw your attention to your exhales. As you fill up on your inhales, quite naturally, like filling up balloons without force, when you exhale, just allow that to be a seep in the balloon as the air seeps out like a gash, hissing. So it is without force, it's quite natural and organic the way that it flows out from your lungs. It is fluid, gentle, coaxing you. Stay on this side for 10 more deep breaths in. For five, four, Three, two, last deep breath in, slowly bring the knees up into your chest, you can wrap your arms back around the back of your legs or around your shins, just squeezing down, gentle rock side to side, simply shifting your pillows over to the right side now. Whether you're using one or both pillows here, or three. And then again, bringing your arms back to a T or bending into the elbows, allowing your knees to drop over to the right, nice and soft. And the gaze can peer over towards your left thumb. Maybe the right hand comes onto your left thigh. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Low sigh out to settle. Relax into the jaw. Relax into the throat. Allowing your belly to be soft and fluid here. And the invitation here is to bring your right hand closer towards the left side of your ribs, the left side of your torso. You can give yourself a gentle rub or a gentle pat, or just laying that hand heavy here, as if it was your favorite human being, giving you that gentle pat or that caress or hug that you so deeply need and miss. Breathing into the space between the ribs, Slow release, exhaling out. Allow yourself to grow heavy on this side. Softening into your pillows and into the floor, finding your grounding, your right to be here. Again, 
drawing your attention to your exhales, allowing them to be soft, fluid, without force, this gentle hissing and release, and emptying out balloons. Connecting at the bottom of your exhales with your next deep inhale, filling up through the back of the lungs, the back of the heart. come back to this rhythm of your inhales with your exhales. Let's stay here for 10 more deep breaths in, so filling up through the left side of your ribs, feeling that deep embrace underneath your right fingertips. Five, four, three, or two, one, slowly roll over to the right, so your left shoulder stacks over the right, come onto your right ear, you can use your right arm as a pillow, with the eyes closed, head heavy, left hand in front of you, press into the ground, gently lift yourself up, come back into the space around you, Just move our props off to the side. We'll meet in tabletop position. So bringing our shoulders over our wrists, spreading the fingers, hips over the knees, just beginning to shift forward and back here. So playing with bringing the pressure into the fingertips and the knuckles. Sliding the hips all the way back towards the heels. Just gently noticing where we're feeling sensation. Come somewhere within the center. We'll start with a few cat cows. So inhale to lengthen the tailbone up. Belly drops, heart reaches forward, shoulders back for your cow. Exhale to curl the tailbone, lift the heart, press into the ground, gaze towards your navel for your cat. Inhale, looking forward, reach the heart long, expansion. Exhale to curl under, sending your heart upwards, contraction. Inhale to look forward. Play with just swaying your hips side to side, left and right. Exhale, dome up through the upper back, curl. Just nod the head, yes. Gently shake it out, no. Inhale, back into your cow. We'll take a deep breath in through your nose. And stick out your tongue in lion's roar. <sighs> Let that out. Then press into your palms, slowly round. Walk the hands about one handprint closer towards you. Really round through the upper back, curling the toes under. See if you can really spread those shoulder blades wide. And hold for five deep breaths. Breathing for four, for three, for two. One, slowly gaze forward, come back to sit on your heels. We're going to prepare for a child's pose. So making this super supportive for you. We're going to bring our two pillows and bring them about halfway up our mat. 
option to bring your two blocks just underneath the far edge of your bottom pillow to create a little bit of height here and elevation. And your two blankets, one can come folded at the top of your um, first pillow as your, sorry, your pillow for your head. And then your second blanket or towel, you have an option here. So when you fold, if you notice that your hips kind of lift up to the sky, you can roll up your blanket towel just in between the legs and sit back on them. If you feel that you're okay, you don't need that extra padding, you can also place this gently over the pelvis just to ground or on top of the feet. I find it's really nice if you're not wearing socks. It adds a little bit of warmth here. So pressing into our pillows, lengthening through the spine, allow yourself to descend and come onto one cheek or your chin or forehead or the other cheek. So just play around with what feels nice for your head and neck here. And then your arms may rest by your sides, palms to flip up. You can also bring your hands forward, interlacing the fingers. You can also reach the arms back, grab a hold of one wrist, palms up, or just bring your fingertips to the floor by your heels. So notice what feels the most supportive for you here. You don't want to build any resistance where you're clenching in your child's pose. You really want to feel like gravity can allow you to come downwards and the props can lift you upwards. So yeah, take more time here if you need to adjust, readjust your head or your blanket or your pillows. And when you come to land, just close the eyes, shoulders roll down away from the ears, curling, tucking that tailbone underneath you, landing it close to your heels. Take a deep breath in through your nose, fill up through the back body and the heart. Sigh, let your belly melt into your pillows, into the floor, release. Staying heavy with your breath here. Noticing any sensations that arise for you here. Granting each sensation, each thought that drifts in with acceptance, with loving kindness. The invitation is always there, not to avoid, but simply to allow and just bear witness. See, with the breath, you can fill up all the way to the back of your pelvis, filling up through your low back, filling up through your heart. Every exhale is a surrender, leading your chest closer and closer towards the floor. So the shape within this child's pose is like a prayer. As we bow down in deep reverence, finding a gentle place of forgiveness. Forgiveness for ourselves. Forgiveness of our actions. Perhaps even forgiveness of our intentions, whether they are visible or not. They resonate loudly here with the world. Breathe in more loving kindness with every inhale. Every exhale is a release, a surrender to let go. If your 
you're on one cheek, you can slowly decide if you would like to come to the other side to release through the neck. Otherwise, you can choose to stay here. Stay with your breath. The choice is always yours here. Breathing into the space behind the heart. Imagining a close loved one or parent who's rubbing your back. Your warm embrace, just allowing yourself to know that you are held. You are here. You deserve to be here. You are admired. You are safe. Begin to take 10 deep belly breaths in. For five, four, three, Two, and one, slowly bring your palms down to the mat, press down to lift the chin, gaze up, just draw your chin slowly side to side, walk the hands back towards you, bring your shoulders over your hips, just take a few deep breaths here, collecting, Sighing. Let's slowly bring our props back off to one side. All right, so for our next pose here, you're going to need one to two blocks elevate your head and because they're much harder blocks I invite you to bring your blanket on top so it'll soften all the rough edges you'll bring one pillow horizontally so it's parallel with the short edge of your mat just about two-thirds down your mat and then your third pillow you're bringing it towards the end of your mat so this pillow is to support the back of your legs this pillow is to support behind the chest. So we're going to come into a bit of a side opener here. So let's come to sit actually in between our two pillows. Um, we're gonna bring our legs over to the left side of our mat. And then your other blanket towel, we're gonna fold into a nice little square to pad between the legs. And you're gonna slide yourself on the left hip, outer left hip. And you're gonna draw, so kind of where the side of your left rib cage is, over that pillow, trying to adjust accordingly. Then thread your left arm, your left hand, towards the left side. And then rest your head so your left ear is on your blocks in your blanket and then the choice is yours you can slide maybe the right heel so it's on top of your pillow or you can keep the knees together you can also reach your right arm up overhead and just drape the fingertips into the floor or you can bring the right fingertips behind you allowing your shoulder to open up if this isn't comfortable you can just place 
your right palm gently over your left, or you can bring it down over your right thigh. So the choice is yours here. And allow yourself just to close the eyes. So as we find a bit of compression in the left side, really opening up through the right side of the torso, all the way up into the armpits, all the way down the right side, down the right hip, all the way down to the right heel. And just really find grounding here. As you close the eyes, we'll take a deep breath in through the nose. Fill up through the right side of the ribs and exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Continue your breaths here. It's a never ending cycle. Again, if you want to place your left hand gently over your right side ribs, just feeling like someone's coaxing touch or a hug is there just for comfort. And whispering to yourself, I am held. I am safe. I am present. I am exactly where I need to be in my life right now. I am doing enough. And that is enough in this present moment. Deep breaths to fill up into your left palm. A slow sigh. Landing yourself, feeling supported, feeling held. You are here, and you deserve to be here. Stay with your breath. Allow yourself to fill up through the right side of the body. Silently whispering that mantra. I am here. And that is enough. Start to take 10 more deep belly breaths in. Inhales to fill up. Exhales to soften. Number five. Four, three, two, one, slowly allowing both hands to come to the floor, gently blink the eyes open, as slow as you can, just press into the right hand to lift the left ear up. Press into your left hand. You can just turn the chin side to side, just gently releasing. You're just gonna come over to the other side. So I'm just going to, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna stay put because it's gonna be more difficulty to move the props around. 
So you're just gonna bring your knees over to the right side of the mat. And then you're gonna allow the right side of your ribs, if you can still see me and hear me, over that pillow. Your right ear is coming onto your books and blanket. And then your right arm is reaching over to the right, right fingertips out. You can slide that left heel onto that bottom pillow. So you have a few options with your left arm. You can reach it up overhead, draping the fingertips onto the floor, nice and heavy. Or you can reach that left arm back, fingertips gently fluttering down behind you, opening up through the left shoulder. You can also just gently place your left hand on your left hip. No effort whatsoever. And just close the eyes here. And take a deep breath in to fill up through the left side of your ribs. And slow exhale. Gently surrender. Stay with your breath here. On this right side. Knowing that there is no other place for you to go. There's no other destination where you need to flee. Simply staying in this moment breath by breath by breath like you can place your right hand gently over the left side of your ribs giving yourself that pat simply just landing it there just acknowledging I am here that is enough I am here that is enough Whispering it as many times, allowing it to repeat over, over, over. Deep breaths in. Slow breaths out. Stay with your breath here.
five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bringing your left hand down to the floor. Link the eyes open. Gently press yourself back up. Bring both hands behind you. Slowly come on to both sitting bones. Just allow your chin to turn side to side, releasing through the neck. We're gonna slide our bum down, so the back of our thighs are coming onto that center pillow. The back of the heart, the back of the chest, is gonna land on that first pillow, so you might have to readjust here. And then the back of your shoulder blades should land on the mat. You could readjust where your pillow is. You may not need your pillow. So it's a bit of a heart opener. So you can either bring soles of the feet together, knees wide, the legs will have as much support as possible, or you can just allow the legs to extend, heels as wide as the mat. Arms can either rest by your sides, or you can bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your low belly. Of course, if you have that other blanket, you can place it over your pelvis, just at the grounding agent, or you can drape it over your entire body to stay warm, coming into a nice cocoon, a nice place to rest. Just begin to wiggle the jaw out, move it side to side. Let the tongue hang out, nice and soft. Maybe drop the weight down into the back of the pelvis, back of the heels, back of the shoulder blades, the base of the skull. Soften between the brows. Soften your temples. Soften your cheeks. Soften your jaw. Soften your collarbones. Soften your arm bones. Soften your elbows. Soften your wrists. Your palms be ever present, whether they're resting on you or lifted up towards the sky. Soften into your heart, into your chest into your belly. Soften your glutes. Soften the back of your legs. Soften the back of your knees. Soften your toes. Let your heels be ever present, rooted, keeping you Floats. It's grounding action. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Slow sigh out like a sheet, a blanket just covering up the entire surface of the body. Again, deep breath in. Gentle sigh, long and gentle. Tuning in, tapping in, becoming receptive, seeing all that you see that appears for you here.
Missing every moment. Breath. By breath. By breath. By breath. Coming back to that mantra. I am here. And that is enough. I am enough. I am here. Staying still in your Shavasana. Continue with your breath. to end tonight's practice with a short reading in the book called When Things Fall Apart, Heart Advice for Difficult Times by Pema Chodron. When we become more insightful and compassionate about how we get ourselves hooked we spontaneously feel more tenderness for the human race. Knowing our own confusion, we're more willing and able to get our hands dirty and try to alleviate the confusion of others. If we don't look into hope and fear, seeing a thought arise, seeing the chain reaction that follows, if we don't train in sitting with that energy without getting snared by the drama, then we're always going to be afraid. The world we live in, the people we meet, the animals emerging from doorways, everything will become increasingly threatening. So we start by simply look, looking into our own hearts and minds. Probably we start looking because we feel inadequate or in pain and want to clean up our act. But gradually our practice evolves. We start understanding that, just like us, other people also keep getting hooked by hope and fear. Everywhere we go, we see the misery that comes from buying into the eight worldly dharmas. It's also pretty obvious that people need help and that there's no way to benefit anybody unless we start with ourselves. Our motivation for practicing begins to change and we desire to become tamed and reasonable for the sake of other people. We still want to see how the mind works and how we get seduced by samsara or rebirth. But it's not just for ourselves, it's for our companions, our children, our bosses. It's for the whole human dilemma. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. Draw your attention to your fingers and your toes. Give them a bit of a wiggle. Start to circle your ankles and your wrists. Turn chin slightly side to side. 
gather the knees up in towards you, wrap your arms around you, giving yourself that hug, that squeeze, sending this out to your loved ones, the ones that you can't embrace in this current moment. They are here, they are thinking of you, they are ever present, they are with you. No rush at all. Just gently roll over to one side, knees and your chest, just come into the fetal position, staying heavy, staking with your breath. Come to a place of gratitude, of sincere humility, thanking each moment we have to breathe, we have to be here together, we have to share our practice, our prana, our joys. Slowly press yourself up, come to a seat. If you want to stay on your back, and feeling extra zen, you can as well. Let's bring your left hand, the palm to your heart, the right hand on top. Take a deep, nourishing breath in. And a slow sigh out. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering and from harm. May you always know the liberty of free expression and movement. May you always stay connected in this divine timing, this divine light, supporting and becoming compassionate with each other and with ourselves. Bring the palms together in front of your heart, sitting up nice and tall, Feeling the lights shine down from the crown of your head down through your sitting bones. Thanking all of you for your practice this evening. Namaste. Thank you everyone, wherever you're watching, in the world, in the city, in the comfort of your homes. I hope you are all safe and healthy and whatever it is that we're going through during another week, another month, whatever the time that may be passing for you here, I invite you not to just fill up that empty space, but to sit in it, really find and cultivate a place for stillness here and being mindful and kind, compassionate, to yourselves. I hope you all have a really lovely evening. Please feel free to check out this video again it is on Facebook as a live stream so you can view it again. And it'll also be on my YouTube channel for you to practice at another time. Cooper and I say good evening and we bid you adieu.